All right, guys, I'm visiting a couple of my other friends here, and it's a, it's a pleasure seeing another enthusiast here. So uh, this is his uh, W124 wagon that he picked up uh, from the auction. And it had apparently it had like a, an engine defect and he fixed it up and stuff. It had like a misfire, I believe. So uh, that's him right there. You know, I'll leave his info uh, in the description. But, uh, you know, he's uh, that's a pretty sweet car, you know. So he's about to show it to us. And uh, I'm going to talk about this car a little more. So what I really love about wagons is that like you can make them kind of like a camper car. So you can like fold the rear seats and you can literally sleep in this car. Yeah, that's what's so amazing and what's really cool is this is a facelift body as well so this is 94 or 95 right yeah, 95 95 that is oh i love that smell yes that yeah, classic nice. mercedes smell too. yeah this thing is so sweet <laughs> i need a wagon in my life too <laughs> this thing is awesome it is amazing so you said you picked it up for the auction right yeah, and it had a misfire it had and misfires mm -hmm and they announced it with the major engine defect mm -hmm. which it was only coils and spark plugs coils and spark plugs so you that's changed it. those and the I car is like the, amazing the old ones the trash. nice and that's it it runs yeah i want to see that engine too it's a m104 i'm actually a big fan of those engines too that's amazing you gotta love classic mercedes you know they will never let you down There she is, inline six. Oh yeah, that is amazing. Everything works, the AC, I mean everything. Everything works on this car. And it's amazing because the models that were 90, made in 94 and 95, they already had European headlights, you know, because the pre facelift models, they still had the Euro spec headlights, but this one already pretty much has the same style like they they were releasing these cars in like europe and other places but this thing is sweet yeah this thing is amazing so what are your plans with this car what do you uh so it's awesome first step is done you saved this car that's the, awesome i got the front seat restored you got the front seat restored yeah did you get it like reupholstered or yeah, i mean pretty much they were oh, nice like, yeah so they're like, how did you do that that looks really good did you yeah. just change the scan or uh... i'm not sure what the guy does but uh -huh. you know he, did he it. fixed so it i have the new steering wheel i have to swap yeah it. yeah yeah sure I have a brand new one it's, yeah it's all wood that's awesome and this wood piece is also brand new after installed yeah and i need to learn i want to learn how to restore those things too yeah. i will eventually exactly. they look good when they're like you know look brand new right. so that's awesome i mean in the future i can do manual swap manual swap yeah i remember you were texting me about it yeah manual swap would be so sweet uh, especially on the wagon yeah that's awesome it has a sunroof it has everything this car is a champ well i'm really grateful for people like you who also save these cars and love these cars you know that's awesome yeah that's pretty sweet yeah coop yeah yeah so if any of your customers come here to like rent a car you're like nope this is not for rent yeah yeah sell yeah yeah for sale. sure and that's for sale too yeah guys make sure uh, you don't ask about this car is not for sale okay <laughs> <laughs> and then right next store next door is uh, another shop right there where they fix cars look at that sweet uh porsche right there and then there's a sweet bmw classic beamer right there that's really cool. Ever since I came to Cali, I've been seeing so many classic Benzes and other cars. It's pretty awesome. Makes my day. Broken, so I have the new piece in my chair. Oh, yeah. There's that uh, plastic uh, square piece that actually breaks off on these. I've had to replace uh, it on a few W124s. Right. Yeah, I have to do yeah. it on mine. I have the part, which is yeah. the time. But the black interior, that's amazing. It's so rare, black on black, I think. Is it? No. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I think that most of the black uh, W124 wagons, they had black interiors, but it's still kind of hard to get, to even find these cars, you know? Right, yeah. I'm like the wagons are, well. yeah. I mean, there's more sedans, but not too many wagons, you know? Sweet car, so much space. Amazing. 
So you do have it with you. Yeah. That's the one you're gonna install. That's exactly. awesome. All custom made. That is beautiful. Just don't drop it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Take your time. That is amazing. And uh, he's also gonna install the same type of uh, steering or the the wood trim pieces inside. That's one of them right there. That's so beautiful. And the same color it shifter. Yeah, there was a. It's so the nice was now. Yeah, uh, Zabrano. Yep, yeah. yep. That's the one. That's so beautiful. It's a shifter I couldn't find. It's also. Yeah, it's alright, but that yeah. that looks amazing. Yeah, put it in a safe spot for right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I love the color in this thing. Good transmission. It's so what is going on with the transmission you said it's it's it's, it's rebuilt oh it's it's already rebuilt. Yeah, it's already rebuilt gotcha gotcha for sure oh my goodness that is so beautiful damn this interior is so rare i'm gonna tell you right now the only one i saw was my friend's he has a e420 um uh, he had he has the same kind of interior and then uh, there's another friend of mine who has an e320 sedan the same color but like it's so rare it's it's hard to find a color like that especially yep that thing is sweet beautiful so what does it need right now what are the plants oh, on it, doesn't it? Start. oh it doesn't start yeah yeah, yeah. This one's ready, it right? just cranks but doesn't start right i think so let me okay let's just try it see what it does okay do me a favor really quick. Uh, I'll tell you when to cycle the key and you will cycle the key. Okay. All right, go ahead. Just turn the key on. It's on. Okay, pumps are working. So it's probably not the fuel. Yeah, uh, try to open the hood. Let's, let's look at it really quick. This is 124s. It's a lot more space in, underneath. Okay, so I'm wondering if it's no spark. Uh, let's see i don't have any tools what can we check i could check this guy maybe it's a coil it could be this coil uh but we need to check if it has a spark or not you know yeah. so uh oh wow i just noticed this that's not good hmm, so this car doesn't start and we have some limited tools but maybe we can get it running and stuff it's weird how this hose is like it feels like it's almost like vacuum in there or something and i had this removed interesting so we'll see we'll try to see if it has a spark or no spark because the pumps come on but it's a beautiful car otherwise m103 interior is amazing a lovely car Even new AC compressor is there. Right, oh, let's see. Let's see if it starts. We're gonna try to spray some brake cleaner into the intake um, because we don't have a test light. So we'll try to see if it starts up. All right, try. All right, stop. So now, whether maybe I have to remove the filter to get, you know, this air cleaner in there, or I mean, uh, the brake cleaner, or we just don't have spark. So if you have a couple of tools, we can quickly remove this lid and then try to spray it and see if it starts up, you know? Or if you have, or if you have like a test light, like I said, we could just, yeah, we could just uh, check. We could take this off, this off and then we could just literally check if it has spark uh -huh. because there's a possibility that either this guy is bad which is ignition coil or this distributor cap right there you know yeah it's called a test light yeah guys if you're enjoying this video series give it a thumbs up all right I'm trying to entertain you here on my, on my videos so hopefully you guys are supportive thank you all right, we're gonna try and see what we have. Oh, sweet. Okay. Try to connect this. It even has, um, this car even has an AC, new AC compressor. That's pretty crazy. Everything is so clean about this car. All right. I'm gonna take this guy out and I'll have you 
crank it so we'll check hang on a sec yeah go inside i'll let you know all right go ahead a little more stop and there's some spark I'll, I'll have you do it again in a second hold on go ahead all right stop there is spark it is sparking yeah it's sparking so i'm trying to see uh what are we missing okay well maybe we're missing some a spark on another cylinder or something that could be another thing so i'll check a couple more cylinders Oh, look at this beast a v12 cl 600 i kind of want to buy this car for my mom <laughs> you think my mom would like it i don't know man this thing is a beast the wheels really fit this thing the deep dish staggered I've always been a fan of these two. I love this thing. This thing is amazing. CL 600. Oh man. It's like a totally different feeling. I don't know why, but I really like this thing so much. This thing is literally going to be a classic car soon. If, if it's not already is, let's see what year is this. Oh man, this is a 2001? Fire up. My gosh. <laughs> oh, this thing is cool. This thing is cool. Oh, what did you press? Right here. Hang on. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, this thing is amazing. Yeah. guys i'm in a different place i'm closer to san francisco right now i'm actually visiting a friend of mine subscriber william so he has a couple of cars here and there so that's pretty cool uh you know and it's, it's just nice talking to uh, you know people like that you know because we have the same passion we have the same stuff that we love so so that's one of his w123s it was wrecked in the back and then his other one is right there but you know, it's nice that he loves these cars and puts love to these cars, so. William, so you do love these cars, huh? Oh, definitely. You're, uh, you're going crazy like uh, I am, right? <laughs> you're just like, oh my gosh, I love this car. <laughs> Never letting it go. <laughs> Look, I won this toolbox on eBay. You did? At the nice. last second. At no the... way, that's crazy. <laughs> did it come with the tools too? Nah. Oh, okay, gotcha. But that's still... So Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. But uh that is super cool. They're mostly German, but look at this yeah. old school. It's a, push it's a ratchet and stuff too. Push through. That is super cool. <laughs> I like the green, yeah. I like the Yeah, Dawid nice. or Dawid Dovid. Yeah, for sure. But uh Yeah. German tools school. are the best for sure. But, uh, 
Yeah, that's awesome. But, uh, I like how it like opens up like an uh, accordion. Yeah. It's nice. Check it out. I even bought one of these. Uh, oh, yeah. That's always useful for no, sure. What was I going to show you? Not this one. Right? One of these. Oh, yeah. That is pretty cool. It's for the, what do you call it? It's a 13, 14 mm -hmm. millimeter? It's 14. Uh, to remove the hex the hex bolts, right? Yeah, or, uh, the rear differential. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. That's a really good tool. Yeah. For it's sure. Like, this fits in. I like it. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> A Mercedes. Uh huh. He's like, can I park my car here? <laughs> nice. That's like, his yeah. car, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this dash is like brand new. Wait a minute. Oh, it, ha oh, it has a cover. Gotcha. Oh, that's still nice though. Yeah. But the blue. Bottom, he says the bottom end of the engine. Uh huh. The bearings. I don't know. He says it doesn't. I never. Even is it? Uh, is it knocking? You think or what? Um, I never even heard it run. Oh really? He just parked it here, and then he wanted too much money. How much did he want for it? ridiculous like 1500 really for this car but then i bought this one for 900 yeah already running yeah and then he wouldn't budge and then it got smashed yeah and then he still wouldn't lower the price because i was gonna switch the yeah engine. yeah but uh so how long uh, did you have this car here for this 240d 2018 oh my gosh and he doesn't have any plans to like fix it or what he's just uh he's got so many cars and mm -hmm. i feel you Man, can I open this? Yeah. This is a blue interior. Oh, manual windows too. That is crazy. Man, but stick Frank, shift. He's put in a manual sunroof. Yeah. Oh, for that? Yeah. And because it had like an Audi. Yeah. Old, yeah, that was. I remember that. That was. Glass, I don't know who did that. Glass that was so ghetto. I don't know why they did that to your glass. car. Yeah. Cool. That's one of the reasons. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Man, two forty D. He does. But, uh, power, power. That's awesome. Man, so you said this mine. Uh, you never started it, and yeah. you think it may have like a knock or something, huh? The bottom end, the bottom That's what he said. And I haven't even opened the trunk. And dude, I've seen your video where you connect all the extensions. Yeah. And go through the. Oh yeah! <laughs> I had to open the trunk. Yeah. And I had to go through the to the inside. Yeah. You know. He doesn't yeah that was that was fun i was sweating a little bit <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to show people how to do it you know because you know i didn't want to break just you know the rear tail light you know it would be sad yeah. you know breaking that stuff but uh i don't know maybe someday um well it's gotta like you guys have to like fix it or he has to fix it i mean this this is awesome you know no the, I, I feel like uh do you know what exactly happened or just like happened on him like or it started like no, knocking he, or you just he, like, you don't know any... a lot of things. oh gotcha so it's just something that he bought yeah, and he, he doesn't know that what happened to it actually gotcha but, uh, mm. in the glove box the previous owner mm -hmm. didn't have a fan, uh, power steering fan belt oh really so it was probably like it was hard like, yeah really yeah they didn't maintenance. take care of it huh yeah, they didn't. why don't we just like pop the hood really quick check the, check the engine oil you know maybe it just doesn't have any oil so that will explain a lot of things you know man this color it, this color so i think it's not um it's not really a silver it's kind of silver but if you like park it on like under the sun they like, will it will feel like it's uh wait 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 yeah, it will feel like it's like bluish color. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's got stuck. Um, try to never pull on the grill because it will break. But try to put. No, 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 no. Uh, try to try to grab this and pull towards you, and I will pull the hood. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I think it just needs a. Uh, let me look at it. It's more oh, yours is an eighty. Yeah. yeah. So yours is kind of like a preface. Like it doesn't have all this. Stuff. Yeah, because this is a. Uh, Oh, let me see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Even that little, uh, this black thing, the, yeah. I don't have that on mine. Yeah, because this is a newer one. Yeah. Is it, what, 81 maybe or 82? 82. 82, yeah, for sure. But, um, Let's see if it has oil, though. Yeah, it has plenty of oil. A radiator fluid. I mean, cooling, or the cooling hoses seem to be intact. So yeah, I wonder how it blew up. I don't know. Maybe it blew up and then uh, they just topped it off with oil. Maybe it was actually low on oil. Who knows? Did some bypass right there. I love the four-cylinder engine. Yeah. Like the manual. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> like, so, some people say like putting a five-cylinder that it, changes, uh, it doesn't really matter. You it know. Changes this, this yeah. Or something, 
the four cool. cylinder is sweet though too yeah, yeah. I, getting, I got used to it yeah <laughs> damn i love this car yeah this thing is sweet but, uh, you know it came like this color from the facts it's kind of like it's not really like beige it's more like yellow color you know it's just the thing is just uh faded that's yeah. all but it's like yellow you know yeah this this can be pulled out i mean there's you know all this stuff or that videos and yeah and like, that guy i think he's in this russia too or oh Ukraine. yeah yeah you uh, gotta you gotta watch some russian dudes how they fix uh you know oh, crazy but crazy right. crazy body work the car could be you know like smashed all the way here you know and they can literally cut it all off, weld new pieces in, or the roof. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy, you know. A yeah, lot of a lot of people think that oh, just because it's a damage like that, the car is gone. I mean, it's I'm not. An idiot, because I could have driven this home that night when I got crashed. Oh, really? And they took it to a yard. Oh. Uh -huh. Friday night at midnight. You know how much it costs to get it out? Seven hundred bucks. Really? To get it out. But how? Though? Like you reported it to insurance, though, no? Or is it just? Uh, uh, no, nah, because. Uh, it was a weeknight they charge double and triple what? that's crazy like 200 just to open the door to the yard but how like it, it wasn't even your fault though no. why like, did they like hit and run on the freeway. oh my gosh and it didn't even stop and you know what the bumper it, you never got like their plates or anything oh my goodness I that's cops, horrible like, what how about the other guy is he okay because i saw the car spinning i looked and it was spinning and it's still like then it just kept going it spun out of the exit oh my gosh but you know what? I have the bumper. No, right? this is not too horrible. This is. You never even hit the bumper. The bumper yeah. is perfect. So it yeah. hit high. It's you like, hit really high. Yeah, I yeah. can see that stuff. And yeah, because high. this this piece. So there's this whole plate can be replaced. So it goes right from right here. You see where the it's yeah. uh, welded from the factory. It goes there, and then on the bottom, you just cut it all off, and you just weld a new face in this this whole thing right there. In India. On the internet, there's a whole page. These guys in India with the blow torch, the yeah. torch. Uh huh. A whole everything with the settling Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. So this is uh, Jose's beautiful uh, W208 CLK that he daily drives. What a beauty. And it's actually a V6 M112 engine. So mm -hmm. initially, I thought it was a uh, it was a V8. 430 but it's a clk 320 it's pretty cool super clean amazing car he really takes care of it and likes this car so